good rising, brethren. This is Big Judah coming to you guys in California. Before I begin, give all praise to the Most High, Yahweh. Acknowledgement of Earthly Mother. Who was wisdom? Who was the Holy Spirit? Acknowledgement of Yahweh Shai. I pray the Most High blesses the lesson this evening, gives more knowledge and understanding of the events of the past in order to understand events that are currently happening on the earth. So we get a much better understanding of the things that are soon to come on the earth. Brother, I was going to share this, uh, this update from um, the Desert Prepper with Paul and Adrian. And what you're seeing happening right now is a lot of this information is just being suppressed and not talked about in most of the media right now. You know, this World War III will not be televised. They're doing their best to keep everything under wraps as much as as much as possible. And as, as you can see what happened this morning, what happened this morning was this, I guess, that, um, let me see, Biden, because of all the things that are going on, decided to uh, put sanctions on Russia. So, you know, I guess they're thinking like it's like, like how it's been in the past, how you could just put sanctions on and and people will uh, just back down. So I have some more breaking oh, hold news on for here. you guys. It's Sorry not looking good, folks, and this is not fear-mongering. For all you guys who say that I'm fear-mongering, don't watch my channel. Go somewhere else and look at your little puppies. But this is for people who want to know what's going <laughs> And Hey, I understand that frustration. People keep coming around saying that's not true. What you're saying is not true. Hey, I get I get the frustration. I've had that for years. But what happened this morning was Biden went ahead and put sanctions on Russia, some more economic sanctions. So, you know, they're expecting They're thinking this is like pre 400 years of our oppression, that they still have, you know, they ha still have the juice. and They think they can still, you know, go around and and bully people and tell people what they're going to do. And everyone's going to just fall down and, and do it. They haven't understood. Some of them don't understand the fact that they are past the 400 years. Their blessing is gone. And the things they used to be able to do, they can't do that anymore. That stuff is not going to fly anymore. So I heard that they turned those two ships around that they were sending over into Black Sea. They turned them back around. You start to show, they're starting to show weakness. You know, as I said before, they just be, you know, big boy and people and just going around doing whatever the hell they want to do and everybody just kind of get out of his way. Well, it's not quite working out like that right now. So they went ahead and put sanctions on Russia. So what did Russia do? They said, okay, I'll raise your sanctions with a blockade. And they went ahead and put up a blockade for a couple of cities in the Ukraine. And you know, blockades are like pretty much another, you know, declaration of war. Just like a lot of these economic sanctions are like decla declarations of war. And then not only that, now Putin said, you got six days to get your troops and the NATO troops up out of here, up out of the Ukraine. So now that's kind of all setting up now to April the 20th, April 21st, when he's about, I think he's going to make his, uh, his speech on the 21st. And I think he's supposed to have a lot of their equipment set up on the 20th of April. Now, look again, like I said, these people don't understand that all this stuff works around the most high's chosen people. Our new year was March 20th going into the 21st. Evening of the 20th going into the 21st. Now you have this speech set up a month later where they're getting ready, you know, they're yeah, pretty much they're, they're getting ready to go on, get it on. But you see, you know, we, we went through our new years. We went, you know, a couple of weeks later, we had Passover. We had our Feast of Unleavened Bread last Friday. And now look at this, this following week right after this, all these things that are being set up worldwide. I'm going to make some more videos because there's so many other things that are happening. This is just showing how the Most High is moving to fulfill his covenant. We heard a couple yesterday or they're actually moving. We, we know they're moving troops from here over there as well. See, many of these troops think that, oh, I'm going to get out of this. Or people are trying to move, you know, out of here as well. I'll get off the lands and leave and everything else. Heard yesterday that uh, there was big, huge movements of gold and silver 
into the uh, so-called Middle East. See, many people are trying to get up out of our lands, trying to move their money. I'm sorry, my bad. You're trying to move my money, but that's okay. The Most High going to make sure we get it. Wherever you putting it, the Most High is going to get it. So, you know, just because you guys think you guys are moving it to safety, you're not. So it's all these movements, and most of us moving all these people, all these forces away from our lands, just like he said he would, and Joel too. This is fulfilling prophecy. So we're, we're past the 400 years, and that's what a lot of these, you know, Christians are getting it all wrong. They think that they, you know, oh, I love my country. I, I, hey, you got to take the good with the bad. If you say you love your country... They're, hey, take the good with the bad. When you realize that, you know, all of a sudden these people, these, these Christians are realizing that America is Babylon. We're going to get into a video on that because that, if you're going to make that, you know, you're going to finally, finally admit that, then there's, you got to take it a lot deeper than just that. But I'm sure there's going to be even more movement going on <clears throat> later on because it seems like every, you know, couple hours there's more information coming out. I just wanted to make this quick video about what's going on. You can go check out his channel and check out what he has right here. But I'll play a little bit. Actually, no, no, no I'm not going to play any of it. You guys can go ahead and check it out. I just wanted to let you see that, hey, they put sanctions on this morning on Russia, and then they went ahead and set up a blockade. And that blockade's a, a huge move. And he gave them an ultimatum. He, America does, doesn't respond well to ultimatum, ultimatums, right? They're not usually, that's what they usually be doing. They usually be, you know, administering ultimatums. Now they're having one put on them. You got six days to get your people up out of there and NATO. So now we're going to see what, what's going to happen. So the Most High got that energy going. He's got that energy flowing over there. Got that energy flowing worldwide. As much as America might not want to fight, the Most High is going to make them. Just like, it, just like hey, Russia might not want to fight either. But the Most High is going to make them. He's going to make them fight till exhaustion. Just like it was, uh, they've talked about that before. So like I said, there's a lot of things that are going on. I said, because the Most High has got to clear off the land. They, remember now, this world here, their world was made for many. But our world, when we take over, is going to be made for few. There are six to seven billion people on this planet. So most eyes already see they keep making it sound like it's the um the elites that are saying you know they, they want to drive down the population it's Bill Gates and it's it's the elite and this is this, this that no it's not it's the Most High that says read in Second Ezra this world <clears throat> was made for many so many of you guys are going to be here on this world but when the Most High raises up his people it's going to be way less people on these lands so now you're taking here and you're taking a look at what's going on with the setup right here and the fighting and World War Three. Now people are like, oh, we could be, you know, people could be obliterated, you know, in a, in minutes and, and days and this, 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 and that. Well, that's how the Most High has set everything up, how things are going to be going, you know, and, and destruction in a day. That's in the scriptures as well. But they're not still putting two and two together as far as the Most High's chosen people, okay? And how um, they are the key to understanding what's going on and why all these nations are now all of a sudden getting ready to fight. How for the last few years, you know, they haven't been wanting to fight. They've been always making agreements and they've always been, you know, puffing up their chest and then kind of putting their chest back and walking away because they don't want to fight. It wasn't time. But now that the Most High has given us our punishment and now he's setting them up for theirs, it's definitely time. It's definitely time for them to fight and to go at it. All praise is to the Most High, Yahweh. Acknowledgement of the earthly mother. Who is wisdom? Who is the Holy Spirit? Acknowledge Yahweh Shai. Shalom.